Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to explain what pool configuration and mining management is both in the Avalon family application and then also how you can do this in a web browser. But launching the Avalon family app on my smartphone and then selecting the mining device that I'd like to take a look at the pool configuration for. So then clicking on settings. And we can see right here, there's the option for pool configuration. So if you're first setting up your Avalon miner, you're going to want to take a look at your pool configuration and setting it up to the mining pool that you would like to mine from. So that's what this pool address is, where you're going to be mining from. And then the worker is the wallet address that you would like any crypto sent to. So currently I'm set up for mining Bitcoin Cash solo. So if I get a block solo all to myself, it'll get sent over to my Bitcoin Cash wallet address. And if you make any changes here, of course, you're gonna wanna click save. Now we're also gonna be able to do this through the web browser control panel. All you need to do is take the IP from your Avalon Nano Miner, enter that into a web browser that's on a computer that's hooked into the same internet connection as your Avalon Miner. So for me, that was 192.168.50.59. You can grab this number from that little screen that's on your Avalon Miner. It's gonna be in the upper left-hand corner of one of those screens. So to show you what this looks like, Clicking enter, it's gonna bring you to this login page. If you have not changed the password, then it's gonna be root, which is the same as the admin. So typing both of those in and then click login. Again, that brings us to this dashboard where we can go to configuration. In that pool configuration, we can set up the pool that we want to mine to right here. And then of course, the worker is that wallet address that we want any crypto sent to. If you'd like to change the pool that you're mining from, you can head on over to this website, Mining Pool Stats. I'll link it down in the video description. So if you're going to be mining Bitcoin, for instance, make sure you're selected on Bitcoin over here on the side. And if you want to get a consistent small amount of Bitcoin sent to your wallet, then you can select one of these options here that isn't solo mining. If you would like to try to solo mine and get that block all to yourself, you're going to want to look for a pool that says solo next to it. I've done the ckpool.org, which is a solo mining pool. It's highly unlikely that you're going to be able to get one of those blocks all to yourself there is a possibility though so these avalon miners are often called lottery miners or lotto miners because it's long odds but there is the chance that you could potentially get a block all to yourself which of course would be very valuable i'm currently solo mining bitcoin cash it's a little bit more doable than trying to get a solo block of bitcoin and again if you want to solo mine you need to do one of the options that says solo currently i'm doing luckymonster.pro but if you'd like to pool mine and just get a small amount consistently, then you can choose one of the pool mining options that doesn't say solo next to it. But whichever pool that you'd like to mine with, you can click on it and it'll bring you over to a page that has the information that you need. So for me, like I said, I'm solo mining Bitcoin Cash. So selecting the Bitcoin Cash option and that gives me the pool URL that I need to copy down. And once I have that copied down, going over to the configuration, that's what I put in this pool information right here. So whichever pool that you would like to mine to, whether it's solo mining or pool mining with others, you can find whichever pool that you're looking for in this area. And again, I'll link this page down in the description if you'd like to check it out for yourself. Additionally, it's important to note that if you change your mining pool or worker information, you want to click save and then you want to reboot the device. Rebooting it is going to get it up and running on that pool information that you had set in there. So again, if you're going to make any changes here, you need to save it and then you need to reboot the device. So I hope this quick tutorial was helpful going over pool configuration and mining management, whether you're doing it through the web browser or whether you were doing it through the Avalon smartphone application. I hope this video was helpful. I appreciate you guys stopping by. Consider subscribing to the YouTube channel and I'll see you back here next time.